So what's going on guys? If you're new to the channel, uh, this is before I go. I go by DC or my name's David. I can tell you guys that I'm okay with saying that. So um, this is something that I wanted to do. Um, in case you're not, in case you're brand new to the channel, I'm usually doing vlogs and doing some other type of things. But this is something that I'm definitely interested in. I'm, I'm interested in sports, more specifically football uh, and football, or in other words, soccer. But my football team that I follow is the Arizona Cardinals. But in this segment or in this video or videos to come, I would like to talk about uh, the Cardinals mainly, but also about other NFL teams as well. I guess more more just the notable news that I hear out there. So let's go ahead and kick it off real quick. So in regards to the Arizona Cardinals, that's what I'm going to always talk about come first because, again, that's my team. So um, as you guys know, the free agency, or as you may not know, the free agency window just opened up yesterday. Some big news that had happened. I mean, it was such a crazy, crazy day. So uh, Calais Campbell from the Cardinals, as you guys know, well, not the Cardinals anymore because he went to the Jaguars. He signed with the Jaguars for something like a four-year deal, $60 million with $30 million guaranteed. So I was definitely sad to hear that he's gone, that he's leaving, but what can you do? You know, such a great deal, can't pass it up. So other notables, again, is Tony Jefferson. Really liked him, man. It's really sad to see him go. Uh, he's going over to the Ravens, so going to miss him. Uh, DJ Swearinger is another. He's going to the Redskins. I really like the way those two guys, those two uh, really played with the rest of the DBs. I mean, they essentially were the ones that were making things happen last year. Uh, Patrick Peterson had a great year, of course, but not the best year that he could have had. I mean, it was, it was a good year. Not a great year, a good year. Uh, so it was really Tony Jefferson and DJ Swearinger that really kind of picked things up back there, at least I felt like. Um, but, uh, you know, sad as it is to see them go, thankfully we still have, you know, Tyron. Uh, we still have uh, Tyvon Branch, who's still in there. Um, and so that also takes me to the next part of the free agency in, or coming in. Uh, Antoine Bethea was a big name that I heard that we picked up yesterday, which is good to hear. Kind of as a replacement, I'm assuming, to Tony Jefferson. And then uh, Carlos Dansby. Now, if you've been a Cardinals fan for a while, you know that this is now going to be his third time coming back. Uh, everybody keeps saying it's his third stint. Yeah, it's his third stint. He's, he's coming back. So good to see him. He didn't have a he didn't have uh, a too bad of a year last year with, with the Bengals. So he's definitely still got it, even though he's getting up in age. So glad to see him coming back. Uh, and of course, one of the most notable things was uh, Chandler Jones. Uh, we went ahead and of course, if you paid attention, we franchise tagged him, but we are now, I believe he has already agreed now to the five-year deal, $83 million, uh, with, I believe it's $50 million guaranteed. I mean, that is that is a huge deal. That's a substantial deal. But is it worth it? I think so. But of course, as you guys know, only time will tell. So we'll see how that happens. So now getting into the news around the rest of the league. In case you didn't hear this, this was a huge story. Everybody kept talking about it. It was in regards to Brock Osweiler. Okay, so... A little bit of a backstory in case you didn't know. Brock Osweiler was with the Denver Broncos, not this past season, but the season before. He came in a couple games, looked great, of course. So, come season after that, Texans thought, okay, well, he did so good there in those couple of games. Let's go ahead and sign him to a $72 million deal. What? <laughs> but that's the way it went down, right? So, they brought him in for $72 million. He had a few couple, he had a good game or a good couple starts, but then after a while, you could just see him kind of going down. And obviously started to hit reality that, well, this guy might not be the guy that we that we thought he was. So, coach didn't have trust in him. Tom Savage came in, who was a backup quarterback. He was ended up having a good, a good rest of the season there for them. So, now here we are in this season, right? In now the free agency period for this, for this season. Uh, and the biggest thing happened, right? So, now this is a deal that happened yesterday. The Browns and the Texans made a deal, made a trade for Brock Osweiler. And this is the deal that it was, okay? The Browns are getting Brock Osweiler, a six-round pick in this year's draft, a second-round pick in next season's draft, and then the Texans are getting a fourth-round pick in this year's draft. Did anybody catch that math yet? So again, the Browns are getting Brock Osweiler, a six-round pick from this year's draft, a second-round pick for next year's draft, and the Texans are only getting one pick for this year's draft in the fourth round. Now, math there is not adding up at all, right? But, and, and it seems so crazy that the Texans would make that kind of deal. But again, it was such a large amount of money 
that I guess they thought that it was definitely worth it. You know, it was it was worth it to them because they're going to offload this guy that they don't want to pay that much money for anymore. So, at the end of the day, I guess the Texans win because they finally got him off. And in case you didn't know, word around town or word around the football uh, situation is that they wanted to pick up uh, Tony Romo. So, this now opens it up for them to pick up Tony Romo if they would like. Or any other quarterback if they'd like. But I'm guessing they're probably going to go after Tony Romo. Again, only time will tell. We'll see if that happens. But again, absolutely huge news. I mean, that was that was so large. One more thing I wanted to note before I end that topic on Brock Osweiler. The Browns uh, supposedly either want to trade him or release him. So that's kind of the whole uh, I guess sad point or down point on this whole deal is that uh, I can only imagine how Brock Osweiler feels. Either they're going to trade him or they're going to release him. Hopefully that's not true. Hopefully they'll give him a chance. Um, I mean, at this point, what do the, what do the Browns have to lose, right? Um, so hopefully they'll give them a little bit of a chance, and we'll see how that goes. If you guys want to find out any more about that, of course, you can find it anywhere. Google it, you'll find it. So, um, And last little piece of news that I wanted to leave you guys with. This is still Friday morning, super early in the morning. I was driving on my way home, and on the radio I heard Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo put an Instagram post out saying, Thank you, Patriots fans, or something to that to that effect. Um, and so everybody's freaking out now thinking, oh, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to leave. Jimmy Garoppolo is going to leave. Um, it turns out that they were kind of saying, oh, well, he's been hacked. Uh, it's a little bit of a goof or whatever you want to call it. Um, so still hasn't been confirmed whether it's true or not. We'll see what happens. Um, so many places and so many teams that I'm sure want him. And he's another Brock Eisweiler type, I guess. And, and the reason I say that is just because he, he had a few couple of good games this season. So... I'm not saying he won't pan out like Brock Osweiler. I think he probably might because he's been behind Tom Brady and he had Bill Belichick and those two guys are, are amazing. So anyhow, so that's the news for the football segment of this whole thing. Um, again, my name is Before I Go. I would like to continue to do this stuff. If you guys would like to see me continue to do this stuff, please give it a big thumbs up. That's the only way I'll know, obviously, is if you guys are liking this video, let me know that you like this and I'll continue to try and do videos like this. Um, and also put some comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to comment on anything else, I can certainly do that. If you guys have any questions about any other news that you've seen, I can certainly try and answer those questions for you guys as well. So thank you for checking this out. If you're a first time on this, thank you, thank you, thank you for checking this out. Again, hit that, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more if you'd like to see more of this stuff. So before I go, we'll see you guys later.